Facebook reverses policy on human trafficking posts. Now, I think the whole reason that they reversed it is because um, Republicans now take charge are taking charge of the House, and um, and uh, and Republicans are going to be doing investigations and stuff like this and looking into this traffic and stuff. So I think Facebook is trying to get ahead of it and get rid of this disgusting policy where they were letting people basically advertise human trafficking on Facebook. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. And there's also a link to my Instagram. All right, let's talk about this news. Facebook is reversing the controversial policy put in place early this year um, that allowed for users to solicit human traffickers to smuggle them across the border. Just, I mean... Uh, how I don't un well I do understand how they got away with it. They got away with it because Democrats allowed them to get away with it. Uh, the social media giant, which also owns Instagram and WhatsApp, announced Thursday in a policy memo that going forward, users are forbidden from posting any content that quote offers to provide or facilitate human smuggling or ask for human smuggling services. The platform previously held that these types of posts were needed to protect human rights. So smuggling people, bringing people illegally into this country at first, they thought that was okay. Like, I mean, just blatant illegal stuff going on on these social media platforms and the government allowed them to get away with it for so long. Um, the Free Beacon revealed Facebook's previous policy, which permitted users to solicit human smugglers in February. At the time, Facebook balked at the suggestion that the policy could lead to abuse of migrants and push back on the uh, conflation of human smuggling and human trafficking. Spokesman uh, Drew Pusateri, uh, a former Democratic staffer, of course, like I said, Democrats got their paws all over this when it comes to trafficking. Um, but a staffer who is no longer with the company told the Free Beacon that it is deeply odd to suggest that human smuggling leads to human trafficking as they are literally uh, deferring legal definitions for both things. Just ridiculous. Of course it leads to human trafficking. I mean, come on. I mean, these people that they, they smuggle over here, they have to pay off that debt and a lot of them pay off that debt through uh, sex trafficking. I mean, that's well known. Um, Facebook has charged... It, I'm sorry, Facebook has changed its tune, rather. Um, it, its Thursday memo says that human smuggling and trafficking, quote, can be related and exhibit overlap, and that both are human exploitation. Uh, duh, I mean, <laughs> of course it is. I, again, the reason why they did it in February, because they knew the Democrats was going to allow them to get away with this stuff. We know who the trafficking party really is. Um, quote, the United Nations define human smuggling as the procurement or facilitation of illegal entry into a state across international borders, the memo states, without ne uh, necessity for coercion or force. It may still result in the exploitation of vulnerable individuals who are trying to leave their country of origin, often in pursuit of a better life. Facebook uh, faced pressure from left-wing activist groups who said allowing the solicitation of human smuggling on social media platforms were necessary to protect human rights. I, I don't know how that protects human rights. Although Facebook did not cite any specific organizations, the company said the NGOs working with migrants contributed to the decision. I'm sure it's probably like George Soros' open border, po uh, op um, open society type of NGOs. Um, Facebook spokes spokeswoman Jean Moran said the platform is, quote, constantly working to improve policies. <laughs> Again, I don't understand why they thought it was okay to do this. But, quote, we don't allow human exploitation on our platforms, including human smuggling or trafficking, and we remove such content when we find it, Moran said. We especially want to support uh, those escaping conflict and oppression with information on how to seek asylum or legal migration while also protecting them from harm. We are constantly seeking community and expert feedback uh, to improve our policies so we can promote safety and serve as a resource for the people who need it most. Facebook's rationale for the change echoes the concerns 
made nearly a year ago by Republican lawmakers such as Senator Joss Howley. Howley alleged at the time that Facebook may be in violation of, quote, federal anti-trafficking laws, citing the company's decision to provide resources to users who solicit, solicit traffickers on its platform. No, duh. I mean, it's, I could, again, I don't understand how they got um, away with it. For so, Well, I keep saying I don't understand, but I really do understand because we know the leftists are for human smuggling, human trafficking, and that's why they allowed it on this on the uh, Facebook platform. Um, human smuggling services, clandestine services that bring an individual into another country for money are often indistinguishable from human traffickers who buy and sell individuals for forced labor or sex. Uh, the focus on the policy came after the Tech Transparency Project in April 2021 identified a surge of Facebook groups devoted to human smuggling. Illegal crossings at the southern border have reached an all-time high since President Joe Biden entered office. Uh, I, I, I mean, it, it's a travesty what's going on right now. And Republican Senators Marsha Blackburn, uh, Tom Tillis, and Steve Daines in November wrote a letter to Facebook CEO, CEO Mark Zuckerberg demanding that the company, quote, take immediate steps to stop facilitating illegal immigration. Their letter cited reports that cartels use Facebook's platform to recruit drivers for their human smuggling operation. Quote, although your company has developed a long enjoyed, um, developed and long enjoyed the benefits of incredibly complex algorithms and other technology to keep users addicted, you claim to be unable to curb these illegal immigration schemes, the letter stated. You have the ability to address this problem and it is critical that you take immediate steps to stop facilitating illegal immigration on your platform. Again, the only reason why they um starting to they're starting to remove this stuff from um Facebook is because Republicans took over uh took over uh, uh Congress and took over the House so um they they don't want in they don't want any smoke for them Republicans so that's why they oh that's the only reason why they took it down I could pretty much guarantee if Democrats still held control then uh it would it would remain on the platform because we know Facebook is evil and corrupt and they really don't care about uh, 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 what's going on when it can, when it comes to human trafficking? Because they're getting kickbacks and stuff from these NGOs, um, like the or Open Border Society that support this human smuggling and trafficking. Um, but let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace. Oh, say, say.